Hi, this is Kerry Hyde with Bedrider, and today we're going to install a Bedrider seating system in a Ford F-150. Uh, the Bedrider is designed to work in virtually any pickup truck out there, so this will be very representative of what an install would look like on your vehicle. The only trucks the Bedrider will not work on are the Honda Ridgeline and the Ford Sport Track. Well, we just got our new set of bed riders in, um, and this is what they look like. There's two; they consist of two boxes, and that way it can be ground shipped directly to your home. Let's open them up and see what we got. Okay, this is what we got in our kit. First thing is this 14 gauge steel powder coated seat frame. Um, we've also got all the installation hardware here that we need for the project. We've got our um, SFI certified harnesses here. Um, we've got our poly bucket seats and also our heavy duty vinyl seat covers to go with it. So let's get started. Uh, this particular truck has a carpeted bed liner. Now the bed rider will work in any, with any type of bed liner uh, or without a bed liner. But what we recommend is that you remove the bed liner before proceeding with the installation. These are all the tools you'll need for a successful installation. All right, well, we've got the truck up on a lift and the first thing we're gonna do is identify our mounting holes for the bed rider. Now, we're fortunate enough to have a lift today, but you do not need a lift to install the bed rider. The, all you need is a mechanics creeper. Um, you can jack up your vehicle a little bit and make sure you um, put jack stands under and you're on a nice level, um, secure surface and you, you can install it easy enough that way as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this installation template that was included in our kit and we're going to mount it on the first support rail behind the cab. It's underneath the floor of the bed and you'll see it uh, when you get up under your truck. There's a series of rails that run back uh, underneath the floor of your truck bed and we're going to mount this on the very first one behind the cab. Now we've got our template in place on our first and second support rail. Now what we're going to do is mark where we're going to put our insulation holes where we have good access. All right. One thing I wanted to mention to you is this is an anchor plate that will be mounted on the second rail back. And you, we mark that location on the leg of our, the T on our template. So this will mount flat up against the bottom of the support rail from underneath the truck. Now that we've got our template appropriately marked, we've flipped our seat frame over, label side down, and we've attach the template to the back side of the seat frame. All of our mounting holes are marked on the template and that's where we're going to put our mounting holes. Make sure you make your marks on the blue dotted line. Okay, so we've used our template to drill the mounting holes in the seat frame. We've used our seat frame as a template to drill the mounting holes in the truck bed. Now we're going to prepare to mount the frame to the truck bed. All right, so we've got our mounting studs in place and now we're going to slide our seat frame right over the mounting studs. and attach it with the quick release knob. Okay, the last step of attaching the seat frame to the floor of the bed is inserting the fluted knob. All right, so our seat frame is successfully attached to the truck bed. All we gotta do now is attach our seats and harnesses. Now that we know our seat frame is ready to be attached to the truck bed, we're gonna attach our seats. And the first thing we're gonna do is attach our uh, adjustable seat brackets, which can be mounted on the inside or the outside of the seat frame rails 
to accommodate a full size or a compact truck. Okay, now that we got the seats attached to the seat frame, we're gonna put the harnesses on. Basically, we're just gonna thread them right through here. Thread them through these holes. And then we've got pre-drilled holes on the seat frame to uh, attach the harness ends to. One of the biggest advantages of the bed rider is that once it's installed, it only takes seconds to completely remove it, leaving nothing in the bed of your truck. Reattaching the bed rider is just as simple. Just slide it into place and reattach the three quick release knobs and you're done.